Please Good proceed. evening. And thank you. Uh, this is my first time doing this. And I have watched this all day. And I don't want to go into past my three minutes, so I don't want to go past what I've seen here today. And I thank you all for at least listening to the people. And I hope you took a lot of it to heart. Especially the stuff that made sense. My wife and I are firearms instructors. We own a business in Prospect, Connecticut. We teach about 90% of uh, women. I would say about 90%. We got into it for really one, one specific reason, and that was what happened to the Pettits in Cheshire. I do not ever want to see that happen to a woman or her children again. I don't want to see them raped and burned alive, and that is why we do this. I'm sorry, but that really is why I started doing this. I'm going to go into my testimony, and then if I run over, I'll quickly wrap it up. I, with all my convictions, strongly oppose any further bills or bans or laws put against my rights as the United States Constitution is written. I oppose any actions that will affect my rights as a law-abiding, working citizen of Connecticut. I am a victim of an act of violence. I was held up, shot, robbed, and almost killed. Let me tell you, it hurts. And it, it, it debilitated me for a long time. And this is why I'm more active in owning a firearm and protecting myself, my family, and anybody else that needs my help. My wife feels the same way. I'm also a member of CCDL. And it's probably one of the best organizations I've ever been affiliated with. I do believe that it's an atrocity to try to take my Second Amendment rights away. I believe it's an atrocity to even try to limit what I need and what I feel to protect myself and my fellow neighbors, friends, and trusted people that I know that I can protect if need be. I'll tell you what, after watching the police up here today, I would never trust them at all handling a firearm. Not one of them had a firearm. They were pointing them at people. They had their firearms closed. Their actions were closed. And they were pointing them at people. You don't do that. That is not professional. And that really freaked me out. That we are trusting police. They practice three hours a year. Come on. And they want more than we are. We have. They don't show up until after the crime is committed. With that, I'll wrap it up with, I strongly disagree with Senator By's statement that my son is at more risk if I had no firearm. My boy is nine years old, and I would do anything to protect him, including keep firearms safe, which I do. Thank you. Thank you.